everybody and welcome to That's Football. It's episode one, Football Manager, Aston Villa in the Championship. People will say, why have you chosen Aston Villa? Uh, because I think that they are the perfect club to be a football manager. They are in the Championship, they're struggling to get back there, they're a big club. They're very close to where I live. They've got Axel Twansibi, who is obviously a Manchester United player. I've got Tahith Chong in on loan as well. So it's going to be a very interesting. I apologise for being late. Fucking furious, to be honest with you. Absolutely furious. Absolutely furious. I don't even know how to react to it. Some of the bullshit that's been put out on social media. I mean, what sort of cretin posts direct messages? I mean, this is the sort of cretin we're dealing with here. They take a little direct message from a huge conversation and tweet it out. I mean, what sort of prick do you have to be to tweet a direct message? I think that is fucking low. Lower than the low. But I, I don't want to talk anything more than that. All I will say is that absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Sign Raheem Harper, says Paul McGovern. Good shout. Good shout. But um, let's start off with uh, my squad for you so you can see. I have done one game. I've done pre-season and I've done one game. But basically, as you can see, my team were playing the 4-2-3-1. I liked this with Salford. It went wrong because of injuries. Tammy Abraham up front, Balassi on one side, Algassi the other, Grealish, McGinn, Horian, Taylor, Chester, Twansibi, Almahudi, Niland. And then if you look at my bench, uh, where is my bench? we got uh, Mark Bunt, Heath Chiang, Richards, Bjornsson, Kodja, Hogan. And uh, we won the first game of the season 1-0 against Hull. So we've had a good start to the season. I just wanted to try one out. But um, we've had one uh, four weeks to two months for Kenan Davies. Um, he wasn't somebody I was really going to use anyway. So, yeah, a nice little, uh, nice little start there. And uh, why have you chosen Villa? Says Sean sure, Owen. Basically because I don't want to. I didn't want to start as a Premier League team because I think you're already there. I like, you know, I wanted to do it with Salford. It didn't work out. I want to take a team up. I want a bit of a challenge, a bit of pro a bit of progression. So that's why I've done that. But. Um, yeah, there we go. Get Greenwood on loans, says Colin Scallon. I've tried to get Greenwood and I've tried to get Gomez, but they're being real arseholes, United. But we did get to Heath Chong, so uh, we'll move on from that. Ooh, Forest won 2-0 against West Brom. Well done. Up the Reds. Well done to them. And uh, our next game of the season is going to be Wigan. Wigan away. Revan set to move on loan to Eastleigh. That's fine. Okay, move on. Uh, when will you play Chong, says Razik Dakil. I'm just, I'm bedding him in. Not literally, that would be homosexual and wrong. Uh, but, and, 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 and as far as I know, neither of us are that way inclined. But um, I, and, and it, it wouldn't be wrong to be homosexual, of course. It'd be wrong for a manager to try and sleep with his player. That would be wrong. But um, no, I'm going to, I'm going to ease him in gradually. That sounds wrong as well. Uh, the transfer deadline, I'm not going to go and do a transfer deadline thing. No way. Right, Bree's gone on loan, Blackett Taylor's gone on loan, good, 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 he's doing a coaching course, I've got to respond to something, accept that, that's fine, and make a carting comment, yeah, just go, and accept, and go. Chief joins Aston Villa on loan. Loan offers made for Man City's Foden. From who? Fenerbahce. I'm going to make an offer for him as well. I'll have a bit of that. I'll have an offer. If he's up for offer, I think I can do it. No. Reject offer. Not selling James Chester. He's one of my better players. Josh says, why have you loaned him? Because I've just bought another right back. What?
oh, I clicked the wrong thing by mistake. Bloody hell, that's a bad start. There's always idiots. There's always bloody idiots in this game. You think you're doing really, really well. I'm going to have to accept this offer. James Chester going would be a bloody nightmare. Although I have got a defender in from um, Arsenal on loan called Sheaf. Why is it when you go live, you always get a, a load of shit? At Aston Villa, you get no money to spend as well. I, I thought Aston Villa, you get like 20 million to spend. You get no money to spend as well. Uh -huh. Get rid of that. You won't get a better replacement, says Josh. I know, that's what's, that's what's annoying me. Now the transfer window is closed, Aston Villa had a final chance to confirm their player relationship, squad registration, submit. There we go. We kept James Chester. He'll get over it. I'll take him down to um, Spark Hill for a nice curry, and he, he, he won't mind. He won't mind. Everything will, everything will be fine. Tammy Abraham injured. Oh, one, one to two days. This is not good. Not a good start. I don't want to see any L's today, says Luca. I'll do the briefing. This lot need a bit of... Uh... Yeah, they're all happy. Good. End the meeting. End the meeting on a high. Get out. Just run out of the dressing room. That's what I say. Of course, I'll be managing United Stand FC soon. So this is good practice, football manager. Jack Grealish is class, says Dabs. Yeah, I def... The, one of the reasons I picked Villa is they fit the formation that I want to play, which is the 4-2-3-1 with that attacking midfielder in behind the striker. So Axel Transibi, for those United fans here, he is the best every time at training. Every week he's the best. He is the best. So Wigan Athletic, second game of the season. We first, we won the first 1-1-0. One, one, um, and Curry Junction. It's called the Curry Mile yell, actually. But uh, what's going on in here? Skybet Championship. Man City reject loan offers. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to be part of it in case he was available. Um, fist fitness test not required. Tammy Abrahams is fine. He's fine. They're fine. Right, let's get on with our first game on this stream. We're massive favourites to win this game. We're happy with the team. It's a winning team. We've got Tahith Chong on the bench. And we submit the team. Submit the team. Submit the team. Submit the team. Hi, mate. How are you doing, mate? Says Blake Freeston. I'm fine. I'm a little bit pissed off with uh, some of the stuff that's going on social media, but I think those people who know me know um, what, I, what I've done and why I've done it. So, um, but, um, yeah, I just saw it. The thing is, you can do something on YouTube for views. I've chosen not to do it. And what I would say is that anybody who says, oh, you're a pussy or you're a coward, right? I didn't used to get on with the true Geordie. I went down to London on my own, walked straight into his studio, face to face, and we, we got on really well. Didn't used to get on with Red Men TV. Drove on my own up to Liverpool, walked straight into their studio with people who've had I've had issues with, got on with them. I ain't scared of any situation in a YouTube sense. I just chose not to do it because I didn't believe the apology to be sincere, and I've been proved right. I haven't had the apology. I've refused to do it. What does he do? First thing, social media, putting up direct messages. Tell me I'm wrong not to do it. The reason I didn't do it is because I did not I did not believe that the apology was sincere and I felt that he wanted a, a debate with me for views and exposure. That's all he wanted it for. And I've been proved right. I only said no this morning and he's out on social media posting out direct messages. How classless can you get? So many people contacted me over the weekend and says, don't do it with him. Don't do it with him. The guy's a cretin. He's got no class. He belongs in a fucking prison. And I was like, well, I always believe in second chances. And I said no this morning in a very polite way and explained what I wanted. I wanted the apology. And I said, maybe in the future, if you prove it's sincere, we'll do stuff together. Within an hour, he's on social media putting up direct messages. That proves I was 100% right. And I'm so glad I made that decision. 
Anyway, let's have a bit of a team talk. Uh, passionate, let's give the fans a performance. Nobody's reacted to that. Fantastic. You better go and bloody win now, I tell you what. So we're off and running. Um, Zeke, everyone will get a reply about the trials. Remember, smash a like on the video. This is the first one. Also got FIFA coming back for you on this, this week as well. Um, we nearly scored there. But we won the first game against Hull 1-0. That's it's not over the line. Definitely not over the line. Four shots to their non straight away against the mighty Wigan. What's my bloody keeper doing there? Nealand. Come on, Villa. Up the Villa. There's not much of a commute for me for this. I literally can be at the training ground in 20 minutes if I do 80. I'm not, no. I'm not condoning speeding. Here he is, Abraham. Has he got a penalty? He's given a penalty. He's bloody scored it. 1-0, Tammy Abraham. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. He's not a B-Tech Rashford. Daps, he's a good player. And it's 1-0 to the Villa. A lot of people doubting me after the failure of Salford. I just think Salford, the level was too low for the genius of my tactics. These players are slightly better. And I think it will, do, it will work a little bit better as well. Um, Reese James is a good right back he's at uh, he, I had him at Salford didn't I I don't think he'd be able to make this step up Freddie Father says I'm a Villa fan why are you using us three reasons Freddie one it's local to me so I could, it's easy for travel two they've got Twan CB and I've got to Heath Chong so a couple of United players and three the main thing is a lot of people say why don't you do United I don't like being a Premier League club in the in in this sort of thing because it's I want to be a team where I can get promoted and I want to build a team and Villa are a sleeping giant I think so that's why I wanted to be Villa yeah simple as who's not performing Jack Grealish again go to the dressing room team talk passionate Balassi switched off great Could be a chance for Wigan here. Or maybe it's going to be a chance for Villa. Oh, Garcia. Should have scored. Should have scored. Make a sub. Who's performing badly? Yeah, Velasquez is actually playing quite well. Oh, Garcia can come off for Chong. Let's get to Heath Chong on. Flip-flop mentality, says uh, Daps, in relation to Jack Grealis. Theatre of Games, says bring on Chong. Chong is on. 2-0! Grealish, he has got the mentality. You look stupid now, Daps. You look, you look absolutely stupid. He doesn't miss those. Jack Grealish, 2-0, and that should be the game. Absolutely should be the game. We'll take Conor Hunahan off because he's on a yellow card. And we'll use a bit of the squad depth here. Albert Adama can come on for Balassi because he's disinterested. 2-0, not conceded a goal. Probably do FIFA later on in the week, Zeke. I'm thinking Thursday. Chong is on Nishchif. We've got Twan C beat. We've got Chong. I'm going to try and get Gomez on loan in a, in a few weeks' time. Back of the net, says Ryan Beals. Remember, subscribe if you're new. Smash a like on the video. Football Manager is back for the purists. Here is Chong to Grealish to Almahadi. Oh. What we got? 20 minutes left on the clock. What a mistake! The keeper's a bloody idiot! The keeper's a bloody idiot! And Grigg is on fire! Look at the keeper here! What are they doing? Chester can't be arsed because he can't get a move to bloody Burnley! You idiots! You bloody idiots! Absolute prats! You've messed it up! Bloody wankers! What a prat! What a prat. How's Chong doing since he come on? 6.7. 2 2. I bloody knew it. I bloody knew it. Friggin' idiots. Switched off at the back. 2 2. Plenty. 2 0 up to 2 2. This is Football Manager all over for you.
Grealish. Adama, Grealish. McGinn, Grealish. Taylor, bastard. Straight over. It's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw from 2-0 to 2-2. Defensively, they've made a bloody mess of this. Joe Keeler says it'll be 2-3. We won't lose this. It'll be a draw. And that's a draw. That couldn't... They, well, into the dressing room. Disappointing. Assertive. James Chester looked to switch off because he wants to go to Burnley. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. John Terry. Remember, I've got John Terry as my assistant as well. I'm forever... I've got him clinging on, trying to shag my leg all the time. Stop giving me rubbish advice. I'm not bothered about that. We go with what we've got. Well, I'm going to use a lot of the... I'm going to use a... I'm going to rest them on my squad for this midweek game against Stevenage in the Karamat Cup. If United beat City, I'm going to name my son Cantonas as Capite Venom. Look, you know what? United will not throw that City game. Who the fuck is Keenan Davis? You're 20 years old. Wind your bloody neck in. You can piss off Keenan Davis. I ain't bothered about you, you little shit. You won't be getting any game time under me. See if we can get a chat with him. Hi, Mark from Kenya, says Alzen. The thing about football manager. I'll sell him. I'll sell Chester. It's fine. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to let him go. Don't worry. James Mumford says let the guy go. We will let him go. But um, he's going to get dropped for this game against Stevenage anyway. Mark, Mark, Mark. Ollie's press conference. It's tomorrow. He's doing it tomorrow. Um... He's um, it's doing it tomorrow. I'll be tweeting for, I'll be streaming for at least another half an hour. A lot of people have wanted this back, so my duty is to you lot, not to dickheads on Twitter. Um, we'll make him captain. But we're going to rest a lot of people for this. We'll start to Heath Chong for definite in this game. Uh, against Stevenage in the Karamat Cup. And there will be a Champions League watch along this week, David, on this channel. We'll be doing Spurs Dortmund tomorrow night. So, uh, yeah, and next week we've got Bayern Munich Liverpool and Juventus Atletico Madrid. I'm going to be starting to do a lot more stuff on this channel because the reaction I did to the Premier League games last night did quite well. So, um, if the interest is there, I'll do more on this channel. I'm certainly up for it. If you are, I'm up for it. That's what she said. I'll handle this briefing, thanks. I think we'll do the 4 2 3 one. We'll end the meeting there. Don't want John Terry getting them all tired, taking his poor mags in because he's a sex addict. We're not having any of that. Don't worry about it, Tammy Abraham. You're not playing in this game. I'll uh, 
move you out for Scott Hogan, to Heath Chong for Al Gassi, Bjornesson for Houlihan. I've got a defender called Sheath, who uh, some people may know him from um, Ben Sheath. He is an Arsenal player on loan, ball playing defender. There we go. Uh, who else is on bench? Codger. Can he play there? Not really. He's an attacker. So we'll play Belassi. Albert Adama can play there. Yeah. Uh, we will play Grealish. Mika Richards instead of Twansibi. There we go. Submit team. Ben Sheaf, you're number 12. Submit the team. Johnny Walker, please do it with DT, mate. No, no, I wish people would stop asking me this now. It's not about fucking views and stuff like that. This is about beliefs. And I'm not going to do something with somebody just so they can get a load of views when they're an absolute cretin as a person. And they've proven it. They've proven it today. Who tweets out direct messages? I've made exactly the right decision. And everybody who said to me, don't do it, because I was going to do it last Friday, they're spot on. You don't fucking... You don't bend over and do something for somebody just when they're tweeting out your direct messages. It's classless, absolutely classless. So, no. Michael Kay says, there's no point in the PSG game for United on Wednesday. There's always a point. There's always a point. Martial won't be risked for that game, apparently. And Alexis Sanchez is out for six to eight weeks. Anyway, this is my... I'm using a lot of my reserves, but Tahith Chong is playing! Oh, we wanted that to go in from Chong. Oh, we're, 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 team, to, we're team Chong today. I did see Grealish's goal at the weekend, Luke. Very, very good. But this is part of the reason I want to be Villa, because they should be getting promoted. But the Championship is such a challenging league. Oh, bloody hell. Stevenich on the break. They're getting a nosebleed. Oh, good save by Neeland. Why is that not counted as a shot for them when it clearly was a shot and it still says no shots on goal? Your statistician's crap. Oh, they've scored! It's James Ball with his first goal of the season for Stevenage. Well, Goldbridge will have to bring the big guns on here. He's been let down and hanging around. One shot on goal for Stevenage. What a bloody surprise. What a surprise. Good old FIFA football manager scripting. Right, let's give him a bit of a bollock in here. Start the second half. Where's your passion, lads? Turn down the speed a little, Mark, says Luca. No, I think this is good speed, Luca, for a game. Some people want it uh, uh, a lot quicker than this. I'm in trouble already in this career mode. I've got my captain who wants to leave. That's causing a lot of negativity. Al Mahadi, crap, right. I'm going to have to make some subs here. Who's playing shit? Hogan for Tammy Abraham. Sorry, Tammy. We need you. Tahith Chong's playing terrible. And three substitutions there. Three experienced players coming on to try and stay in the Karamat Cup. Grealish, Bjarnason, Grealish, El Mahadi, terrible cross. It's a goal! It's Hogan! He scored, and I'm about to say change it. We'll cancel the subs. We'll keep the. We don't need the subs. We're back in it. He's definitely onside. It's one-one. It's official. Stick with the lads. Give him a bit of encouragement, Goldbridge. Go on. 
Grealish. What's he doing? Bloody Grealish. This is going to be Grealish's fault. It's not. It's a good ball. Where's this highlight going? Nobody knows. Is it going to be a Stevenage chance? No. Al Mahadi. To Grealish. To Chong. Chong. Oh, what a goal. It's to Heath Chong. What a goal. What a decision by Goldbridge to keep him on. And that's fantastic. On loan from Manchester United. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant goal by Chong. And it's 2-1 to Villa. And the boy's got talent. And Goldbridge saw it. And he's given a penalty. For what? For what? Oh, God. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Who's tired? Look at bloody Stevenage. This is like United Southampton. Four shots and... They've scored two bloody goals. Let's get the winner. I've brought the big guns on now. Penalty takers. Oh, bloody hell. You know what happens in the penalties with me in the bloody Carabao Cup. This is all bloody... This is bloody pink boots time. Bjarnason scores. Kennedy for Stevenage scores. Abraham is going to miss. Scores. Good lad, good lad. Penalty shootouts on Football Manager are good. Timlin. Timid. It's a timid penalty from Timlin. Sheaf on loan from Arsenal. Bound to bottle it. Scores. Come on, we're going to do it. Guthrie. He's guffed it. It's, it's looking bad for Stevenage. It's looking bad for Stevenage. McGinn to put us through. Here we go. Go on, McGinn. Yes! Karamat Cup. We're through on penalties. Well, we made hard work of that. And... Uh, give him a bit of positivity, John Terry. Who's John Terry to talk about it? Anyway, he missed the bloody penalty. Give him some praise. Praise McGinn. We win on penalties. We've won on penalties. Lovely stuff. And we rested a lot of players, which is good. Second round draw. draw. No, I'm not watching it. That's small club mentality. Colchester. Yes. We could be winning this Carabao Cup. We could be winning this Carabao Cup. Nearly a thousand people watching. Thanks, everyone. Please do smash a like and subscribe if you are new. Uh, we've got Ipswich at weekend. Isco to United, Druff. No. I mean, I don't want Isco at Manchester United. I think he'd be perfect for Man City. He'd be perfect for Spurs. I don't think he would work at Liverpool either. I don't think the formation we play suits Isco unless we're going to play the two up front. But... He might use the two up front because he might want to get Lukaku into the team, but. James Chester injured. Tight calf. What a surprise. He's causing more problems every bloody game. That little shit. They're looking disinterested. Uh, signings that I've made, Sean O'Leary. Realistically, when you take on Aston Villa, I thought I'd get about 20 million to spend. You get nothing with Aston Villa. So I uh, have got Tahith Chong on loan. And look at Twansebi again. Winning the uh, Best in Training award. I used to play football Premier League. Uh, Fantasy Premier League, Switchblade 11. 
I don't play anymore. The good thing about playing Fantasy Premier League is that you do get to know about a lot of players around other clubs, which I've noticed my knowledge of that has dropped off recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been, we're on the tally against Sheffield United. Oh, James Fist, James Chester is back. Team selection, right. Remember, remind me to bring my best players back. So, Abadami for Adam Misari. Uh, Tammy Abraham, yep. Bjarnason for um, Hurihan. Richards for Twan Sebe. And where's James Chester gone? Where's James Chester gone? I'm going to start Chong without a shadow of a doubt. Where's James Chester gone? Mika Richard, you shit. Submit the team. I've got too many low knees there. Shit. Who are you? You're quite good, El Gassi. Shit. What am I going to do? It's going to have to be Ben Sheaf, actually. Got too many bloody so. Got too many low knees. Too many. This is my favourite formation, Lewis Highstead. I like the 4-2-3-1, as you can see. With the high press. Jack Grealish switched off. Oh, don't switch off, Jack Grealish. We need you to switch on. Solar panels. He's got a yellow card as well. This is not good. Chong into Abraham. Why is Abraham playing? What have I done? Oh, Tammy Abraham, yeah. I thought I was thinking about Adama. I'm well, sir. Thanks, AB7. FIFA will be back. You should try and pick up Sandro Tonali in the next transfer window. It says DT's anger management counsellor. Thank you, pal. Freddie Father says everyone's dancing to the Twan CB beat. Away from home today, so tough game in the championship is a pain in the arse. Absolute pain in the arse. It's so relentless. And uh, there's so many decent teams in it. But uh... Goal! How did he miss? How did he miss? That. But we're all over them. Balassi's too good for this league. Chong! Bastard. Balassi. Oh, we're all over them like a rash. which means they'll score and they bloody nearly did but it was a good save come on the Villa Balassi Abraham oh, oh. put the ball in the net put the ball in the net I think Leeds will get promoted in real life Ben man Go on, Chong. He's gone past one. Oh, good shot. Good shot to Heath Chong. Definitely the better team. Ipswich are terrible. You should win. Chronic tie second. You know that's. You know what's going to happen now. Abraham. Oh, he should be scoring those. Half time. Get in that dressing room. John Terry just wants me to tell him they're not doing well. <sighs> they're a lazy bunch, this lot. They don't like act. They don't like to uh, 
They switch off, don't they, all the bloody time. Go! No, missed. Bastard. What we got on the bench? Bad finish. Bad finishing. Twenty one shots to three for Ipswich. And we are losing. We are drawing. Come on. This is not a game to draw. Find the win, villains. Find the win. I think Leeds coming up next season will be good for the Premier League. Definitely be good about Manchester United. <sighs> the, all we need now is um, them to get a late winner. Another bloody draw! Another bloody draw. Go on, find something. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry for the language. I thought we might win it late on there. That's it. Bloody nil-nil. God. They're a moody bastard lot, I tell you what. They're a moody lot, these villains. No wonder they can't get a bloody top. We're unbe we've won one and we've drawn two. And you've only seen us draw two. Not a good start. 22nd in the league, Ipswich, and we bloody draw. I'll tell you what I'm going to try and do as well. I'm going to try and get Angel Gomez on loan from uh, United. He would be perfect as a... Uh, he'd be in the under-23s, I think. He would be perfect as a backup to um, uh, what would they require? Wage contribution? If we can get him, that would be fantastic because we could do with a bit of a rotation of Grealich. Krista loves this game. Let's see if we can get Angel Gomez. He'd be, he would be a good signing for us if United will go for it. We're playing Brentford at weekend in a week and they drew 1-1 with Sheffield Wednesday who were down near the bottom. So that's encouraging. Goldbridge out. I knew it was going to start. Switchblade says Goldbridge out already. Thanks for that, pal. Appreciate that. Yes, Eston Villas Gomez accepted. Get a hard on. We've got Angel Gomez. Thank, thank you for that. Great stuff. Great stuff. That's a good signing. So we've got Gomez, Chong and Twan Sibi. Three of United's best youth players now playing for my Villa team.
We're happy with that. Carmichael says yes. The only thing I've got to worry about is that you can only have a certain number of low knees in your team. Oh God, food poisoning for my goalkeeper. <sighs> got a director of football at Villa as well. I don't like him. Keep scouting shit French players. Right, we need to win this one, folks. We need to win this one. Yeah, we are doing Dortmund Spurs tomorrow night. 3-0 up. It should be fine. I'm going to hand it over to the assistant manager today. Yes, we got Gomez on loan. We got Angel Gomez on loan. Can he do a job for us today? Let's have a look how good he is. He's a good goalkeeper, Marrera. I don't think I'll be able to use him. We've got Ben Schaaf. Angel Gomez. Got so many people on loan. His potential's quite good. I think he needs to go on bench though. If we can, I mean, how do I get Angel Gomez onto the bloody bench? So many low knees. One, two. Okay, now it's very difficult. Very difficult. He's got to go on there for El Gassi. That's fine. Give Angel Gomez a number 19 for you, and Angel Gomez. Oh, I was going to give you 38, 39, which is my number. Italiano, Anno. Uh, Blizzard Crossing says, I'm sorry, Mark, but you're wrong about Alexis Sanchez. Um, why am I wrong? Every free transfer means high wages to players. Look at Ramsey. Blizzard Crushing, you're wrong. Alexis Sanchez. Abraham. Oh, I thought he'd scored that. What a ball by Chong. Uh, Alexis Sanchez was not a free transfer. There is a myth around the Manchester United fan base that we signed Alexis Sanchez on a free transfer. Tell him, tell him live comments. Was Alexi Sanchez a free transfer for Manchester United? No, he wasn't. We swapped him for Mkhitaryan. It was worth about £30 million and he was still in contract. It wasn't a free transfer. Hepburn Murphy writes, um, Gus512. There's a few good young players. They've got a good youth setup, but Hepburn Murphy's on my list, actually. Come on, Villa. 1-0. Bloody hell, this season's going bad. Why is it as soon as I start to stream? I won the first game 1-0 off stream. Why is it? We're doing shit. We're like real life. Balassi, come on, you're too good for this league. Two nil. This will be two nil. Told you. Fucking rubbish. <sighs> Absolute shit. This is James Chester's fault. This is Chester's fault. Goldbridge out. Says Fee. A team that can't be asked. Go on, Chong. Go on, Chong. Yes! Grealish. Get in. All because of Chong. 
and Abraham. The queuing up. Grealish 2-1. Definitely onside. 2-1. Right. Second half becomes interesting. FIFA scripting's made its way to football manager, says Ryan Beals. Given a penalty for what? What the fucking hell was that for? You get yourselves back into a game, and that. Oh dear, God! Be back playing FIFA at some rate. We're missing, we're missing loads of chances again as well. What's this balance chip that John Terry's got us doing as well? Oh, I'm going to get the bloody sack. 4-1. Four, 4-bloody-1 Four to, to Brentford. Who's that donkey at the back? Chester. This is bloody ridiculous. I'll be getting the sack again. My second football manager career in a moment. Ro, I'm going to get the bloody sack. You've got to score. Tammy Abraham too. Chong again. He's the man. He's got something about him. Just not taking our chances. Chong again to Gomez. Come on. Get it to Chong. He's done it again. You should have scored there, you useless shit. Gomez. Time CB, give it to somebody good. Going the wrong way. You bloody idiot, Twan CB. Oh. Come on, we still we can still get something out of this. What the hell? Two four four two is the way to go, says uh, Leah. We're gonna have to change the formation after this. We've actually ended up with more shots than them. And we're going to lose four bloody two. Up oh, yours. Bloody dressing room. Yours. I'm gonna get the bloody sack again. Tossers. Absolute tossers. It's because of my mind's on other things. And we had a and we had a crap goalkeeper as well. Let's not forget we didn't have our best goalkeeper. I've remember, just remember that's a good excuse. Dalred's just said you're conceding soft goals. 
but we had our reserve goalkeeper. Look at John Terry opening his gob again. It's fair to say we didn't have the best times. It was difficult to pick them up after the game. We must be careful. Team's just not responding to me. Let's try. A team meeting. Everybody's feeling better. Axel Twansebi again. Look at Chester. He's the problem. Bloody Chester. He's the lazy. He's the one who's disrupted this team. Bloody Chester. Ryan Beals says, blame the wind. No, we're not submitting that team because we need our proper goalie back. We need a win today. We need a win today. Why do people switch off when I'm bloody nice? What do you want me to do? Nick your bloody pocket money, scratch your car, and that'll motivate you. Get out there and, and get a frigging victory over Reading. For God's sake. At least Chong's doing well. If we don't win today, I will have to change the formation, JBW. But look at us again. We've started off really well. And we go 1-0 behind. You can't fucking write that. Six shots to their none, and they score from a bloody free kick. You can't write this. You cannot write this. Where is the be aggressive thing anyway? Two nil. Oh, this is a joke. Why did I play football manager? Two nil. You're just giving up fucking games every time. The Goldbridge out chants have started in the live comments, and quite rightly so. We're absolutely shit. Yes. Yes. 2-1. Did well there. All John Terry does every game is says tell the team that that performance was disappointing. That's all he ever does. Tell the team they've been disappointing, John Terry, while he's in the corner on his porn mags. Oh, 
Oh, bloody free kicks don't go in for us, do they? I'm tempted to go back to FIFA for Zeke, to be honest. I just find Football Manager really frustrating. You've got the better team, you have way more shots. And it's the same, same shit. Two bloody set pieces. And it's a disaster. It's a bloody sassa disaster. Come on, at least get a point. Yes! Abraham, two, two. Go for the win. Go for the win. It's not good enough. Will we get another chance? Nah, it's going to run out. Two, two. <sighs> Time for Roblox. Tammy Abrahams is just a miserable git. I think he likes to be treated badly. Anyway, look, that's the first stream. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Bloody hell. Where are we in the league? 15th with six points. Although, that's... You know what? This is one thing I would say about the championship. We've played... Five, we've got six points, but Sheffield United have played five and got 12 points, so we're only six points off first place because in the championship, everybody beats everybody. That's just the way it is. But um, thanks, everyone, for watching. A first stream done. Back again tomorrow at the same time, half past one. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm back on the United Stand at 8 o'clock tonight as well. Uh, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll be on here tomorrow night for Brucey Dortmund versus Spurs. Watch along as well. Speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you need to turn it off as well, Goldie. There we go.